it might seem like I'm jumping around a lot. Um, you know, you could do a lot of this in just about any order. But uh, we are trying to, uh, you know, progress here. And so one of the ways that we do that is we see progression as we move files from the garlic device over to the blocks too. And so one of the things we see in here is this uh, twerp.make file. And, you know, we have more stuff that we can do in our device.make, uh, license files that we can talk about later, um, system properties, that sort of thing. But we're gonna focus on this twerp.make for a minute. And so this file <clears throat> uh, doesn't have to be a separate file. It could actually just be written into your device config file. But we'll open it up and take a look at it. And so what these, this file does is specific for building twerp. So if you're going to build team win recovery projects, uh, what's, the, <clears throat> what's the stuff you're going to need? So of course, we're changing our, our uh, device tree to be Ours, and we're going to have to put this as a to-do because we don't think that points to anything at the moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and then we go through and look at a lot of these options. Um, since it's the same system on a chip using the same uh, uh, graphics, it should work. One big one here is this brightness. Um, oh, we're, we're in the device already. So if we're in the phone, if we change directory to this backlight <clears throat> brightness folder, we can look and see if the brightness is there. The screen's off, so if we say cat brightness, it's zero. If we turn the screen on, we say cat brightness, we see it's 255. So this is the right uh, location for the screen brightness, right? We were just double checking that. Uh, some languages, crypto, all this kind of stuff. This is probably fine, and we'll just save that. But we do need to look at this twerp FS tab. So where do we get that? Well, notice it's pointing to be in a recovery folder. So we'll grab the recovery folder from here, and we're just going to copy that over. Of course, we'll move the older one into the old file here. <clears throat> and when we look in there, we have this twerp FS tab. And, you know, so this is saying the file system table when we load up the file system. And it's saying where is everything. So we see boot is block device by name boot. We know that that is right. Uh, we can look at our um, by name file that we had grabbed, right? Boot uh, is there. We could also put in the dev block, uh, the MMC BLK partition number, et cetera, et cetera, if you wanted to be really technical. Uh, we see we have recovery. We see we have system. You know, we're just double checking to make sure that all of those really are there. Okay, so that one's good. Uh, data user data, some of these we've looked at before, but we're just we're just triple checking to make sure that everything is in here. Cash, by name cash, and miscellaneous. So we see our cash, we see our miss. Uh, firmware, so and it's by name modem, notice that. So we look and modem, that's there. But we know this firmware is not, so it's a good thing that we double check that, and uh, that is proper for this. But you know, you just want to go through and make sure you have all the right stuff. Uh, persist, of course, we just grabbed that in the last video. Now, notice you have SD card one, and it's auto, uh, and it's going to be uh, BLK one partition one, and then you have this on the go cable, and that's going to be block SDA one. So those are separate. Those are kind of unique and different. Those are automatically loaded when you plug one of those in. Uh, so <clears throat> then each one of these has a flag that tells it something, you know, like display system, um, encryptable, uh, it has a, a footer with a, a length that's minus from it. 
uh, the display name, all that kind of information in there. So, <clears throat> excuse me, really, uh, really important to double check those and make sure that those are right. So let's go back here. And we can also check against this fstab.com, or not .com, .com for Qualcomm phone. See how that looks in comparison. We can look in the recovery file. Sometimes it'll have one in there. Uh, you know, not not usually, but possibility. So looks like we've got all of our um, all of our files saved properly there. So we can now take this to do away because we now have added this file. We can uncomment these lines so we can use it. And now we've set up another one of our, uh, our configuration files. So we just need to push that and uh, repo sync to get that into our build.